Hey John, last time I was on the program I was talking to you about some of the products, Sherhill products we make that we use outside, inside the house. Guys, who we have back on the program is Tyann Burhoff. And one of the products that you were talking about is this right here. Yep. This is your Buff Magic, and it is an unbelievable variable grit rubbing compound that I love for removing oxidation on the boat. Starts off at 600 grit, breaks in half, breaks in half again. Literally, you can take it from dull oxidized to a perfect mirror finish. One product really saves a lot of time. You're bringing it into the kitchen. Yeah, because I love Buff Magic. Girl, what is, what is going on reason. here with this pot? I know. So I have my stainless steel pots that clearly get really dirty and grunt. Look at that awful over time, okay. you know. And I'm like, oh, honey, I got to get a new pot. And he's like, oh, no, no, you can use our Buff Magic and a little bit of elbow grease with our bronze bowl pan. And I just went like this and scrubbed it off, you know, just a little bit of mint. Look okay, how pretty I'm, that I'm is. going home with the Buff Magic Inside and I'm going home with the, with the bronze pad. <laughs> okay, the bronze bowl pad. Okay. You got it. Yeah. You talked about the buckets. You mm -hmm. talked about how not only can you use it for bait or carrying water, washing the boat, but you also used it as like a, a, a shoe carrier. Yes. You know, like a caddy mm -hmm. type yep. of thing. We use this to carry a lots of things. So we use it to carry shoes. And even when people come on the boat and you don't want them to wear their shoes on the boat, you can just throw them in the buckets. So they're not tripping over them. Okay. I want to get into the laundry aspect <laughs> because seriously, I mean, a lot of us boaters in Florida yep. will go over to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You can only carry so much fresh water on the boat. Right. You're using the bucket for what at the end of the day? So, John, at the end of the day, we have a few bathing suits and things that need to be just rinsed out because if you don't rinse out bathing suits or clothes that you've worn fishing, they get a little stinky. Well, just the salt water, just swimming. Right, okay. yeah. So I use my favorite laundry detergent, and I just put a little bit on the bo in the bucket. And, you know, we, on the bottom of our bucket, um, we have the grate. And so what that does is that when there's sand in the bathing suits and everything, it kind of makes the sand fall through on the bottom. That is brilliant. I fill it up with just a little bit of my favorite laundry soap, and I wash them in the bucket. Okay, how do you dry them? So grabbing the handle, and I'll okay. show you. So this, this, this is, is the Surehold handle, uh -huh. guys. Yep. Okay, and they have an attachment on it. This is the boat hook. The boat hook. So okay. we already have this on the boat, right? And so what I do is I get a drying rack, and I just clip the clothes onto the drying rack, and I just put it in the rod holder. <laughs> Isn't that great? That is <laughs> I know, cool. I love it. Brilliant. Everybody, okay, what, what, what's yeah. the mask all about? Okay, so another way we use our Surehold bucket is, is that when we're snorkeling, we go all day, and um, basically, especially when we have a lot of people on the boat, there's nowhere to put all the masks, right? right. And so what we've kind of come up with is you do a little bit of tear-free, tiny bit of tear-free shampoo at the bottom of the bucket. Okay. You fill it up with water, okay. and you put everybody's mask in there. So you know, when, so that way, when everybody's ready to jump in the water, they know where their mask is. Everybody grabs their mask, it's and it's already tear-free. Exactly, and it's ready to go. That's what divers. That's what divers will use professionally uh -huh. to yep. keep their mask clean. Yeah. So it's another purpose. We also like like to use the bucket for kind of like a makeshift cooler. <laughs> well, let's think about it. Our ice chest on our boats. Okay, that's kind of heavy to go yep, up to somebody's exactly. house and you know keep the party. Exactly. You know, so going a little on. bit of ice, six pack, whatever. I think so that I think that's multi purpose. Yeah, okay, I love it. So um, fun. I'm very familiar with the speed blade. Mm -hmm. You were sharing how not only can you quickly dry a boat yep. with this, but also you love it in the house for doing what? Yeah, I love that for the shower. You know, um, when I clean the shower and then I just quick water blade so I don't get those water spots. I do it yes. in the house. I do it in the boat too. So it's really great. You could use it on windows. Yep. You can use it so many different mm -hmm. places. Okay, what do we have here. Okay, so that is the hose strap that we have, and usually, you know, people use this for like the hose, right? right okay, sure, but what right. I do is that sometimes we have more than one thing to carry up on the boat. You know, sometimes for life jackets, especially, we have life jackets for different occasions. I don't store a ton of life jackets. We, we have little sure, kids or something. Sure. I put them on here, and I just can carry them right down onto the boat, so I'm not like so lugging you're, a bunch you're of. You're using that. You're using that yep. strap as a tote. <laughs> As, as a tote. Well. Okay. And then you can do an electrical cord or whatever you need to tote down to the boat. You guys, you guys have the <laughs> coolest videos on, on your website. And you have so many tricks and tips and so many different uses for the products from Surehold Industries. Where can we leave people at home? So that's easy, John. Just go to www.surehold.com under Clean and Simple Tips. Come on, guys. They already know to subscribe. Let's keep this nice and clean.